All right, tonight's history's headlines remembers a historic march on Washington. The High Valley residents were among those who descended on the nation's capital nearly 60 years ago. Please raise your right hand and repeat after me. The ascent of a biracial woman to the second highest job in the nation will endure as a critical moment in the ongoing civil rights movement. So help me God. This, of course, I have a dream today. was another history-making moment, the day Martin Luther King Jr. shared his dream with the world, a day decades in the making. For uh, a number of years, going back to the 1940s, a group of African-American civil rights activists had been planning to do something like this in Washington, but they weren't quite sure how to do it. Finally, on August 28, 1963, all of the pieces of the puzzle came together, and some 250,000 people descended on Washington, D.C. for the March for Jobs and Freedom. They come by train, they come by bus and by air. They come from the north, the south, the east and west. They included members of the Bethlehem and Allentown branch of the NAACP, as well as the Reverend Jack Bowers of Bethlehem's First Presbyterian Church and Muhlenberg College Chaplain David Bremer. The march began at the Washington Monument and progressed to the Lincoln Memorial, where demonstrators heard from speakers and musicians. Early on, there were concerns that the crowd might turn unruly. There were 5,000 uniformed men on duty. They had little to do but keep dissident groups away from the rally. Arrests in Washington were below normal. The march is credited with helping to create the political momentum needed for the passage of the Civil Rights Act of 1964 and the Voting Rights Act of 1965. Now, nearly 60 years later, many of the main players in the march have passed on. But the torch has been passed to a new generation, and the work continues.